everyone, this is Tamara Mascara and today I want to show you how to get this holiday look done. So if you want to see what I shopped in Paris and how the products are and how they feel on skin and if you want to know how to do this holiday festivity extravaganza look then just keep on watching and don't forget subscribe and thumbs up. Okay, there we are without any makeup. Christmas magic happens every day. So to start the look, I'm going to put on a primer. I'm using Nivea for Men, the popular aftershave balm. Okay, so this is Krylin Paint Stick in the color 101. I'm using this. Uh, it's my favorite product to put on my eyebrows and um, I'm like brushing them on with Suiva 322, the brow line brush. I'm really obsessed with this brush. It's really nice, long, the angle is perfect. You can just go into your eyebrows and like they're getting perfect. Okay, so far so good. Um, next step is to clean up the edges of the brow. I'm using Krylin Paint Stick in number, um, oh it doesn't have no number, it's the shade Ivory and um, I'm using my MAC concealer brush that unfortunately from all the cleaning um, misses uh, a lot of varnish and maybe you noticed the little um, thingy on my thumbnail. Um, all of you who have gel or acrylic nails, you know the struggle and you know how it is if your nail breaks like right in the middle. It's freaking painful and I cannot build up a new nail on this. So currently I'm like spending my holidays with this thing on. But whatsoever. Alright, next step color MB. It's my basic foundation color from Krylin Paint Stick. I love to use this color. It's just like, it's natural beige, so it fits many, many people and it also fits me. And I'm going over the upper edge of the brow. Um, I'm just like getting rid of excess product on the back of my hand and then I'm blending the edges in with the same brush just to get a nice base for the foundation. Um, okay, so to blend in the front part of the eyebrows, I use the tip of my concealer brush and I'm just blending the makeup color together with the brow color by, you know, just dipping the tip of the brush into the brow. So this gives you the illusion of hair and skin coming together. And um, for concealing, I'm using the HD Concealer by NYX Cosmetics. Again, then I'm using this flat angled brush. Um, it's synthetic and it's really soft. It's actually, it's a cheap brush from a drugstore here in Austria. Um, and it's perfect, you know, to put a base on your eye and also to blend concealer in. It's very nice. The only part that I'm setting with powder is the under eye part. Okay, so as you maybe have seen on my Instagram, I've been to Paris and I went shopping to Sephora and I went nuts. So this is one of the things that I got. It's the Modern Renaissance Palette from, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And um, I already tried it out in Paris for the show that I was booked for there. And I have to say, um, it is really amazing and it's really worth it so if you have the chance um get it just order it get it have it it's an amazing palette um i'm starting with the color tempera it's whoops, it's the very light one here so now i'm starting to just dab on 
this base shade and I'm actually putting it all over the place. I'm going in with my Chanel eyeshadow brush. This brush doesn't have any number but um, it looks like this and I have to say if you want to get like real good quality brushes, the brushes of, the, of Chanel they are really good. I bought this over 10 years ago and it still looks like this. You know, save some coins and get this Chanel brushes because they're worth it. Okay, I'm going in with um, the Antique Bronze. It's... Where the fuck it? Here. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going into... Yeah, I just went in there with this brush like one time and this is what comes out. It's amazing. Okay, and the first step is I define a shape of my eyelid. With the brush I used before, I'm blending the antique bronze and I'm going back in stacking the color, the antique bronze color over like I'm just stacking it God, who cares? next color I'm putting it on with Zuiva's 237 detail shader brush and I'm using and I'm using this red ochre shade. Alright, and then I'm going back in with the Chanel brush, just blending the edges. So actually today I got a little present from NYX Cosmetics. It's uh it's actually really cute. It came in this little pouch and it's like the Christmas greetings from NYX Cosmetics and they sent me the, the glitter primer together with some glitter and I think I'm going to use this on the middle of my eyelid, you know, to glizz and glam the Christmas season up. Let's see how this glitter looks like. like whoop. Like, this is another struggle for people who have nails. If you need to open, like, cosmetic packaging, it's a pain in the ass. So, I opened the glitter and I'm trying it out right now. I'm just put, ooh, putting a little bit on my hand. That looks nice. Okay, so this is how the glitter looks like. Okay, so let's open up the glitter glue that comes with it. I love the packaging, it's like this, actually it's matching to my name. Okay, it says that this is specially formulated to keep glitter in place. Using the primer not only enhances the reflective quality of your glitter, it also prevents messy fallout and creasing. Thank God I'm using these tiny amount. So I am going to apply this on like the middle of my eyelid just to create this center of glizziness. So I'm using my ring finger. This is the amount that I got. And I'm pressing it on the primer. And this works amazing. And I'm going in with the Cypress Umber that is over here, the darkest shade. Also with the detail <clears throat> shader. Just to give the crease a little bit more definition. Alright, so I think I am ready to put on the rest of my foundation and for this I am going to put on my beautiful um, <laughs> hairband. This is perfect to use under wigs, so drag queens and girls with wigs out there 
this is what you want to have and it's really easy so if you are using um, fishnet stockings in a nude color this is what you can like recycle them for so you just cut off a piece of the leg of the stocking and then you just sew it together and here you have your headband and the perfect thing is even if a little bit in the club is like showing under your wig nobody will see it because it's just like flash color and boom the only area where I need to use like way more is the area where my beard is growing so therefore I'm like you know I go into it so I start blending this in with one of my super cool uh, toothbrush makeup brushes and to get a dewy finish I'm using Max Strobe Cream right on the brush Next step is highlighting with Glam and Pink Sticks. I'm using Ivory and I just apply it on all the areas that I want to highlight. Alright, so I'm starting to contour with the NYX um, Conceal Correct Contour Camouflage and what else? Corrige. Let's powder it off. I'm using a powder puff and some setting powder uh, by... What is it? It's Ben Eye. Okay, I'm going to let this bake for a while. To set the eyebrows, I'm using a um, sleek shadow and I'm using this brown shade down here next to the black. I'm putting it on with the Suiva brow line brush. Be sure to like dab it off like this otherwise you have the brown shadow all over your face and I'm just going over my eyebrow with this eyeshadow. So I think the powder is uh, ready to take it off. I'm using my MAC powder brush for it. I can see the number with 138. Dusty. And now I am contouring with one of my favorite products is the NYX Highlight and Contouring Palette. This one is my favorite shade. I'm going all the way around my forehead. The only thing I like to leave out is like the center here, or like the center here. I'm doing this since some weeks and I really like what it does to my forehead. It gives me like Actually, it looks like there's like a tennis ball or something in my forehead and I really like that. It just gives me some structure and I have a very high forehead, I know that, and in the past I was always really insecure about it and I was like, oh my god, my forehead, my forehead, my forehead, my forehead, my forehead, I should wear a fringe, I should wear like something to cover my forehead, but now, actually, I gotta say that I really like it. Um, the only thing I don't like are like the corners up here, but you know, my wigs will cover that up anyway. But in fact, I have to say that the forehead issue is kind of gone. Maybe it's like when you get a little older, then you're like, fuck it, I have this forehead, and who the hell cares, you know? Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. And we will rouge that out later, but first we will use the Renaissance palette once more. So I'm going to start to um, 
blend the tempera color in the, the lightest shade first. Is there a red glitter? Yeah. My whole house is full of glitter, but there is like a red glitter. Okay, we'll stay there. And then I'm going in with the antique bronze, connecting the wing with the lower eyelid. I'm using this brush. I bought it in the Arts and Crafts store again. This is what I love to do. I go into the Arts and Crafts store and just buy like brushes that I think are really good and usable for makeup and this one looks like that it's angled and very very nice to do like details especially on like lower eyelid or corners and I'm using again the antique bronze To highlight the inner corner, I'm using the Primavera. Alright, and with the same color, with the Primavera and the same brush, I am highlighting the area underneath my brows. I think we're ready for eyeliner right now, and for this look, I'm going to use two liners. First one is um, Essence Liquid Ink in black, and the other one is the Metallic Eyeliner of Golden Rose. Okay, I'm going over with the Golden Eyeliner. I'm going to apply my NYX XXL Mascara. An amazing mascara. Just like I am. So I'm ready to apply my eyelashes. So once they're bended, it's just way easier to put them on. And I'm going all the way in and I'm applying them right on my natural lash line. And to connect my natural eyelashes with the falsies, I am using this funny tool and my mascara. I guess we're ready to highlight now and um, this is a very classic product, it's the MAC Vanilla pigment and I'm going to highlight with this and the Suiva Luxe Highlight Brush. Okay, we're ready to put our blush on and I'm going to use MAC Ginger So let's get to the lips. I want a candy apple lip this time. Um, so I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Ombre Lip Duo. So let's get started. And I'm filling everything up with Chanel's Rouge Allure in the color 58 called Audace. Last step for the lips is the matching gloss, also by Chanel. It's number 60 called Excess. And we are going to make a holiday excess out of this lips. So, just as always, the last step in my makeup, I'm going back in with my liquid eyeliner and I'm putting my beauty mark on right here. And boom, there we are. This is the finished holiday look. And I'm going to put my wig on and I'm coming back with the entire look.